Fast Performance TV. I'm Claudio Encina. I'm so excited today for a Secrets of My Success video. We had the honour and pleasure of having one of the number one agents in Australia join us to hear his secrets of success, Michael Pallia from Sotheby's International. Michael, thanks for taking the time in your busy schedule to join us today for the video of Secrets of My Success. We want to hear your success story, but firstly, I suppose we want to start off with is let's hear your background. Uh, I grew up in Wollongong. I loved cars, so at the end of my uh, doing the HSC, I was lucky enough to get a job with York Motors, the Rolls Royce dealership, and I worked for York Motors. I worked for Mercedes Benz and Rolls Royce for 14 years in uh, repairing the cars for the first seven years. So I was a motor mechanic for the first seven years at Rolls Royce, and then uh, the next seven years I spent selling Rolls Royce and Mercedes Benz in Sydney's eastern suburbs. So I was able to meet a lot of clients that I still deal with today. And as a result of that, I realized that it was better to sell houses than to sell cars because houses are bigger and uh, it's, it's a better long-term thing. So I moved into selling houses in 1997, the end of 1997. For three years before that, I did the real estate licensing course for two nights a week. I used to catch the train down to Wollongong and uh, twice a week I would study uh, at the TAFE there and finished the real estate licensing course, then moved into real estate. And then in 2001, I started Rain and Horn Double Bay with my uh, two other partners and we started that up for nothing. We grew that up to about 90 people. We ended up, there were four of us that owned it in the end. I owned a quarter of it. I was a licensee there. And then I was able to get the Sotheby's franchise about uh, 15 months ago and, and it's gone on from there. You're a successful principal and partner at one of the leading franchises in Australia, Rain and Horn Double Bay. What made you go to and start work with Sotheby's International Realty? I was very happy uh, working at Rain and Horn Double Bay. We built it up to be the top office in the network. We had, I think, about 90 staff working there. It was a big office and everything was going well. But then I realised that the opportunity for the Sotheby's Realty franchise was coming to Australia. So I was trying like crazy to get that franchise because I, I know it is the top luxury brand in the world for real estate. And I kept approaching them in New York. And then one day just before Christmas, about two years ago, I got a positive response from someone in New York. I was on holidays in Melbourne. I thought I'll just give them a call and see what's happening. And I got onto a gentleman that was, he was about the only person in the office. And he said, we are about to give the franchise out in uh, Sydney. And he said, you better be quick. So. I got on to the person who looked after it. He said, we're just about to appoint someone. And I was a bit worried that it wasn't going to be me. So he, I said, look, I'm ready to go. And he said, could you get on a plane and come straight over? So I spoke to him, I think it was on the Friday and I was in the boardroom of Sotheby's Realty office in New York on the following Wednesday for a meeting with them. And I met with the whole board and the managing director. I took a video of what I do over here and showed them a little bit about the market. And they seemed to be happy with that. And then we put a heads of agreement together and the rest is history. Fantastic. Since securing the rights for Sotheby's International, how long is your agreement? The agreement that I have with Sotheby's International Realty is a bit of an unusual agreement because it's for a long time. It's actually a 25 year master franchise agreement for New South Wales, the Australian Capital Territory and the Gold Coast in Queensland. It runs for 25 years now, and then at the end of the 25 years, if I want to extend for another 25 years, I've got an option to do that. So it's really a 50-year agreement, which is great because when you're in an organisation, you want to know that you're going to be there long term, and that way you can invest in the company and in the people, and I think it's good for the people to know that you're there for the long term also. So Michael, how big is your team currently? Uh, we have a team currently of around 30 people in the whole uh, organisation. That includes property management and we've got I think five people on the Gold Coast in that office and the remainder of the people are mainly in Double Bay working in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. I'm sure all the viewers are interested to understand what does a typical day look like for Michael Pallia? Uh, I really enjoy getting up in the morning and going to work. I don't usually go into the office 
very often at all. Um, most days I'd be lucky to even go into the office. I work either from home or from my car because I find the car being the best office. It's private, it's got a great view. If you're driving around the eastern suburbs of Sydney, there's always somewhere nice to uh, look at the harbour and all that kind of thing. And you're mobile, so if people call you, you can be there in a short time and it's quick to get to appointments. And I find the Bluetooth's great, so it just makes it easy. And obviously, iPad, iPhones. They're excellent today, so you don't really need to be in an office, I find, and I actually find I get more done if I'm not in the office. So Michael, how do you define success? For me, success is basically being happy. I mean, and you know, being the people around you also being happy. So if you're not happy, you're not successful. There's lots of people around with lots of money that don't seem to be too happy. So I don't think they're particularly successful. Uh, and I see lots of people that don't have that much money that seem to be quite happy. So I think that you've got to know that you do the right thing, you've got to have a good reputation amongst the people that you work with and the community you live in, and I think that you've got to keep your health, that's most important, and I think put that all into perspective and enjoy life and enjoy the simple things, enjoy walking around Centennial Park or going on the harbour, all that kind of thing. So it's, uh, yeah, I think we're very lucky living in Australia and we have a great life here. Double Bay is a roaring success and you've just recently opened the doors at Sotheby's Mossman. What are your plans for growth over the next 12 months in Mossman? Sotheby's International Realty sent a representative over here to identify the top markets in Sydney that the brand would go well with and they identified Mossman as being a very uh, suitable area so Sotheby's stipulated that I had to open an office before the end of 2012 in Mossman which I was very happy to do. Now, the next challenge we have is to find great people to work under the brand in the office. I think it, there's potential there because it is such a great brand and it's got, it's got the ability to bring buyers from overseas to the properties. So I know if I was working in real estate and I had the opportunity to work in a Sotheby's office in Mossman, I'd be very keen to do it. So I think maybe a lot of agents don't know about it at the moment. So uh, I'd love to get the word out there that if they're really good agents and they're honourable and they do the right thing, uh, I'd love to speak to them because we'd love to look at an opportunity for them to work in the branch there. In your first 15 months of opening the doors of Sotheby's and National Realty, how has business been so far and how much have you written in your first 15 months? Uh, I started the business at the end of September 2012, so we had, there was only myself, one PA, uh, James McCowan, who's effectively my right-hand person, and James's PA. We started that business at that time with just four of us. We've now got about 30 people working there. We've got now, we've set up two other offices. So we've just started an office in Mossman on the North Shore in Sydney, another office on the Gold Coast, which we set up about three months ago. And we've got the Double Bay office. We've got, we turned over in the first 14 months $394 million in sales and we something I'm quite proud of is that we sold we sold 12 properties in the last calendar year so that's from January 2013 until December 2013 there were 12 sales for more than 9.8 million and the dearest was for 33 million a house and I sold another house for 28 million last year also we sold two for 15 million uh, another one for 13 million 650 another one for 12 and a half million uh, another one for 12 million I think we sold about four for over 10 million and we sold one for 9.8 so there were 12 of them all up Wow 394 million in your first 15 months of opening your doors that's an amazing success story in itself Cloudy, one of the things I'm really proud about is I, I think I'm pretty good at, at um, finding good people and one of the great people that I found to work with is actually you because you're a big part of our success and since you've been working with our team, our productivity has really increased per person. I mean, in December 2012, uh, Walter Antonelli in our office sold two properties for over $10 million alone. James McCowan sold another house for $11 million. Uh, Andrew Hennessy sold something for $15 million. They're all uh, people in our team and they're doing a great job and I know that you mentor them every two weeks. You have a one-on-one -on -one with them for half an hour and they've told me that that really helps to give them guidance and it shows them the roadmap and the way to go and uh, where they should be heading with their plans and all that kind of thing. Michael, we do appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us today. 
to share your secrets of success. Claudia, thank you very much for inviting me to come in. Really enjoyed working with you and I've enjoyed coming and meeting with you this morning. Thank you.